Hey guys, KSK Rahul here and this is a Lineage OS 16 and it's currently super stable which is an extent for Poco F1. So in this video, I will talk about everything, the features, performance and battery life. Before getting into the main part of the video, if you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe to this channel and click on bell button to get notified. Okay, so let's get into the about system and show you the detailed information of this build. The Lineage OS version it says is 20190206, which is currently coded as unofficial. And also you can see it has a latest security patch level. So as usual, like other ROMs, I will talk about performance, features, benchmarks, and battery life. That being said, if you want to install this ROM on your Poco F1, you can watch that video by clicking on this card from here. Let's talk about the features of Lineage OS which are actually working super fine. By default, you will get a TribuChat launcher which is sort of minimal. It's kind of similar to a Pixel launcher and I really like it. And also, you will get a stock camera which won't work as intended and it is malfunctioned. I recommend installing a Pixel camera which actually works super fine. And yes, you can take a better pictures than the normal camera does thanks to the Camera 2 API. All of the features works fine, the nightlight mode, the portrait mode, and you can also record a video up to 4k at 30 frames per second when it comes to top features let's talk about the thermal mode under the display setting you may find an option called thermal mode basically this mode helps to boost up the performance of any application it supports a per app basis which means you can select a different thermal profiles for each individual application for example i play pubg a lot i can simply select the pubg and then click on the a down arrow key from here and i can set a different thermal profile for PUBG. So this way the thermal mode boosts up the overall performance of the game. Next up, accent colors. Inside settings, under display, style, you can see there are a lot of accent colors available for you. You can simply choose one of your fancy. You can also change the style which quickly helps to apply a theme. Of course, it's supposed a dark mode but as of now, some of the stock applications cannot be able to adopt the dark theme. Next up, the one-handed mode. Under the display, you may find an option called one-handed mode. Basically, this is a powerful feature of Lineage OS 16. When you enable this setting, you can control your 6.2 inch device with one hand. All you need to do is a simply swipe to either left or right from the pill, and you can see the system is actually downscaled, which lets to use it with one-handed mode. To get back to the normal, you can simply press anywhere inside the dark area. Next up, Live Display. This setting allows you to change a different color profiles. If you select a color profile, you can either choose a standard one or the sRGB. And also, if the display mode is set to automatic, this will adjust the color temperature of the screen after sunset and sunrise. Also, you can see there is another option called a reading mode, which basically switches your display to black and white. Next up, Screen Recorder. Lineage OS 16 provides a built-in screen recorder as a part of standalone application. Yes, you can record the audio of the game using the screen recorder which is simply astonishing and I really like the way how it works and it encodes the recorded video to mp4. So for those the game lovers who want to publish their PUBG gaming on YouTube, well you don't need to rely on any third party application. And lastly, my favorite feature of Lineage OS it's called the Extreme Power Saver. You may find this option inside a battery setting. Enabling this feature should preserve the battery life and restricts the device performance and background activity to save the power and it is extremely useful while traveling. Overall, I would say when it comes to features, you will get all of the features of Lineage OS and normal things like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi hotspot, LTE, LTE, face unlock, fingerprints works fine. Moving on to the performance, like other ROMs, Lineage OS 16 provides a stunning performance. All of your applications, games will open up faster without any hiccups. You may not gonna face any stutter or lag while opening these programs. Everything is super snappier. Multitasking works super fine without any issues. While playing big games like PUBG or Asphalt 9 Legends, I would say the performance is much impressive. I have played PUBG as usual with Ultra HDR mode. The game was so smooth and there are no frames drops at all. Lastly, as usual, I ran a benchmarking applications like Geekbench and Intuitu and these are the scores which I got on my device.
And last but not the least, the battery life. As of now, the battery life which I get is super awesome on this build. The normal screen on time usage which I get around is 6 plus hours. I have played PUBG for 130 minutes which is absolutely 1 hour 25 minutes, I mean 29 minutes. The battery consumption was around 20% which is unbelievable. And for a fair and minimal usage, you can get almost 1 plus day of battery life without any issues. That being said, for more information about the battery statistics keep following the community page and I will keep updating you guys about this ROM so the bottom line of the video definitely we are close to the official release of Lineage OS and I'm really looking forward to try out when it comes out if you are using a pixel ROM and I would say wait until the official release and you really don't need to update currently so if in case I have missed anything you can ask me in the comments down below that's pretty much about it I hope you like this video if you do, then smash the like button down there and hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet and consider clicking on the bell button to get notified. So thanks for watching. This is KSKRL. Peace out.